Okay, so everyone's new favorite character, Ludmilla, is um obviously, you know, being the only thing talked about since so she is the newest character and stuff like that. And a lot of people are hyping her up and stuff like that. And I'm not saying she doesn't deserve the hype. But for me to fully accept the unit as a good DPS, they need to be able to at least handle something in the game where... They don't need other godly characters to do it. So I'm just running this basic crit damage buff team from mass and obviously um, volume here, right? The reason why I want to run the crit buff team is because she actually gives herself a massive crit buff when she, uh, not really a massive, but she gives herself a pretty big crit buff, right? 10% for 10 seconds when you enter a full burst on top of this crit buff when we enter the full burst um, and on top of the crit damage buff and also the crit rate buff as well that we always have for the first 30 seconds. The two allies with the highest attack which Lenmila is going to be one of them and then oh i see an issue here i want guillotine to be the other one not uh what's her name d so let me fix that please Alrighty, so I ended up making it that guillotine gets the highest attack, one of the two uh, out of the three DPS here. But Ludmilla, we need to see if Ludmilla is able to do everything she's able to do, essentially, without having a buffer like, um, not a buffer, but without having like Red Hood, Modernia, these other good characters on the team, right? So we're going to run this team, do a mock battle, see how it goes. Um, my light is literally broken, so you guys are just going to have to accept the standard light. Um, I apologize, right? Um, it's not broken, it's just not charged. But I do think Lamilla is good enough, obviously. If Modernia is able to clear this by herself, Lamilla should. Like, Lamilla really does hit that hard. It is scary. Um, we might be able to break the core in time, and we did. And we did. Yup. And then boom, 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 boom. And bop. Yeah, so. I mean, the moment you break the core, you're really, like, you're really able to handle it, right? The reason why I also want to do this video is because I told you guys in a, a video a while back that I want to stop essentially doing videos with the new character and then just the best units in the game with that new character. Because every time you guys see those videos, it's like, yeah, the character, we're beating the content and it looks like that. But you guys have, I need to start, like, realize that not everybody who's watching my video, again, has the new character or all these other good characters right i mean i would hope you had red hood but like modernia and all these other good summer needs like i wouldn't expect everyone to have it so i want to try to showcase different teams that actually have some of the like lesser used units right um this one is definitely taking longer to be obviously um wait what's her damage looking like 15 million and 18 7 million right um the reload is so bad there that was horrible the reload right there was so bad but we are going to be able to beat it none like nonetheless um all right i wish i could like i had the mats to actually upgrade my uh Lenmilla. my Lenmilla actually doesn't have mats to be upgraded so that's a bit unfortunate okay she's about to die like guillotine is literally look at guillotine's hp she's holding off your dear life god damn she's holding off your dear life and we don't have a healer on this team guillotine died okay um right she we don't have a healer on this team or any type of like sustain so um it's fine but okay there we go w um, mind you, when D does use her burst skill, we do get damage dealt or something like that. I guess attackers get, like, damage increased to parts, right? That's what it is. But the reload speed here is horrible, right? Um, that's why I feel like you want to have max ammo capacity with this character, right? Because by having a lot of max ammo capacity on the thing, right? Um, oh, my. She really just got one tap there. What the heck? I didn't think she'd get one tap. We still are going to beat it. Um, but I didn't think she'd get one tap there, right? I didn't think she'd get one tap there. Um, okay, it's fine, right? Um, doesn't mean she's a bad character. Because I already know, I always have to say that after something bad happens. Because a lot of people, like, they see her die. They're like, oh my god, the worst character in the game. Like, let's be realistic, bro. Let's be realistic. She was able to do that. I just didn't cover there. And I just took the bombs, right? I literally just, I didn't cover there. I was talking. I took the hits. But overall, still able to do it, right? Yeah, it did take longer. It is with more of an average team. But that's just how it is, right? Um, Still pretty good damage, though. 26 million still pretty good damage right um so i do think again the character is good i want to try with other characters as well maybe not someone like d um as well because d is meant for this boss we could try it with like let me see i want to put on a healer though Alrighty, so this is a definitely more of a different team it's more of a water-based team um which i hey it's more of a water-based team i go lie but um this team is actually going to be very, very nice to use because we have the heals now from Mary and also Helm. I do want to kind of switch between Helm and Brit's burst skill while doing this. And we're still going to have Mast on the team just for the crit damage buff. 
Um, but I do want to kind of switch between Brid and Helm with their burst skills because Brid, if she's at full HP, she does an additional 1000% damage by, and, and, uh, by having the buff from the water characters and stuff like that. Mind you, I don't even talk about it, but Ludmilla is a supporter as well in a sense because every time she lands 60 normal attacks, mind you, she's increasing damage taken by 10, well, mine is by 10% for three seconds. To get 60 normal attacks for a machine gun is, lo is less than three seconds. So unless you haven't like unless i'm reloading for three seconds she's always gonna have this damage taken debuff up on Ludmilla, right or on um, modernia you guys can kind of see it there we do have masked on the team as well for the defense um what's it called she does lower defense as well i didn't even talk about that but she does lower defense as well um brit is getting the crit damage buff which is good right but this is a full-blown water team so we do have heals so i don't have to worry too much all right i don't want to have to worry too much because we do have um what's it called healers on this team as well um right and mind you everybody on this team besides math is getting the damage buff um i guess it doesn't really matter right the damage strong element none of that matters the attack buff that we get from what's it called um mary does help but the strong element doesn't necessarily matter here because this is not an enemy that she's like strong against does that make sense um, but you guys can see over there at the very top, right? The last debuff on the HP bar. I don't know if you guys can see it there. Um, but that is the damage taken, right? The damage taken debuff. So it's always going to be there unless we're re re reloading or we're just not attacking, right? Okay, we're good. Um, let me try to get in um, things briskly if I can. Yeah, I did. Okay, so that was... Wait. Okay, she didn't do as much damage as I thought, but... You know, these are other characters you can use as well, right? It is trying to show... I'm still trying to show that Ludmilla can, you know, carry without having, like, Red Hood, Modernia, and stuff like that, obviously. But having these other characters... Like, people have Brid, but nobody ever talks about Brid. Nobody ever does a video of Brid or anybody, like, you know what I mean? So, if I'm able to beat Modernia, right? And I can show you guys my investments later, because my Modernia... My Ludmilla... I keep saying Modernia because it's like a machine gun, but... My Ludmilla is not fully built yet. So I can show you guys the build of these characters as well. And if you have this exact same comp, you can run it, right? Um, and you don't even have to have Mary, right? Mary's just here for the heals. You can run you can run somebody else. It would be better if Dorothy was here or if um, Litter was here. So if you have those better burst one units, um, then by all means, go ahead and use them for sure. If you have those better burst one units, use them for sure. Because Helm's heal is probably going to be enough already. Um, maybe for just like Ludmilla, but overall... This is still a very, very good team, right? Um, the heals, you guys can see the heals are looking very, very nice. Um, and the damage from Ludmilla is no joke as well. It's definitely no joke as well. So we're reloading there. Boom, we cover. Yeah, so for the people who struggle to beat this boss, if you have this team, by all means, go ahead and use it, right? That's that's the, like, the more of the story of these videos, right? Or at least this video specifically. If you have these characters, use them because you don't need to always have scarlet red hood modernia with the brand new unit for you to be able to think right i want to show you guys in the again a team comp that necessarily not many people ever talk about it's just a random key team comp right future zx is here i forgot to show you guys the gear set so let me do that real quick um just pause it if you need to boom 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 here are the rolls here are the rolls here are the rolls here are the rolls boom boom skill level boom 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 and then cube boom 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 and no cube on these two i didn't even realize but there's no cubes on these two so yeah that's the build i had for that team so if you have the same team or something close to it identical um or even something better then by all means go ahead and use it but it does work right everybody here does help mind you every last bullet as well that helm lands she was giving a crit rate buff so even these like these are still supporting right nine million it's not that much damage but it's still contributing right helm every time she lands the last bullet all allies get a crit rate buff um for five seconds and stuff like that she's healing when we enter a full bridge she gives all allies an attack buff she's doing her part mass she's lowering the defense of the boss she's giving everybody her um what's called and mind you ludmilla wasn't you landing core hits there the only time Ludmilla or Modernia has core is like the beginning of the like the match. But once you break the core, Ludmilla lost a lot of damage because she no longer had the core hit. So you guys could see, even when Ludmilla is losing her like 
damage some of her damage output you can see she's still able to perform with characters people don't really necessarily use and that's the whole point of this video so hopefully you guys enjoyed this hopefully you guys uh want to see more of these as well let me know if you do want to see more of these where i'm using the new character like at least in a video without them and the new like them and then an old very good character because i don't feel like you're getting anywhere if modernia and red hook could already do stuff by themselves having a new character on with it doesn't really change much right so i feel like this is kind of doing something i'm not sure but let me know what you think your boys yuxus and i'll definitely see you guys in the next one also make sure you guys do, uh, join the discord because i am going to be reacting to viewer summons probably tomorrow and then also let me just pull it up real quick it is up right now on the channel if you guys go to my community post you guys can go ahead and vote you guys can go ahead and vote for the ranking of Ludmilla on the community tier list as of right now with 475 votes is already ss tier makes sense so uh you guys go ahead and share your votes as well and leave why in the comments and i'll definitely see you guys in the next one i'm out peace